Hello, Pisces. So the last reading I did for you guys, I was getting that there was some kind of destined relationship and the divine had to end it because I'm trying to remember what I got in the last reading. I feel like I was getting something about how the like your person had to go down a separate path. They had some things that they just needed to do on their own. Um, like to be able to grow, to be able to be the kind of person that you needed them to be. They needed to go down this, this separate path away from you for a while. Um, and I feel like you felt really confused because you're like, isn't this person the one? Like, why are they suddenly leaving? Like, why? Like, this was supposed to work out. Why is it not working out? But I feel like the separation, um, if this is your story that is, then the separation was temporary. You know, this love is still meant to be. It just, it was the wrong timing back then. They had some things that they needed to do first. Um, you know, you guys might have just come into union and then had to um, just separate, you know, just for, for whatever reasons. But let me see what the current story is. What's the, um, so what's the energy update over the last couple weeks? Loyalty, stability, vows. Listening, understanding, new perspective, true love and abundance now flows to you naturally and effortlessly as a result of your open-mindedness, your faith and your bravery. Hidden truth being revealed. Someone taking off a mask here. Doing some soul searching, possibly. Cold, guarded, distrusting. Divine intervention, synchronicity. So yeah, someone's like... Kind of feels like someone is distrusting a situation like maybe you guys used to argue or maybe there's just some kind of reason they're not fully trusting it like they've been hesitant to reach out um and the divine is helping them get through that they're showing them some kind of hidden truth regarding this connection i feel so there's something about it where they, they had mixed feelings but there's a new they're listening and understanding now maybe they just weren't mature enough to love you the way that you needed to be loved before but now they have this new perspective and some kind of hidden truth has been revealed so there might have been like rumors or gossip or people that people that tried to separate you two um just some just some like some struggles some roadblocks along the way you know this has been a turbulent connection um, could be things in your personal relationships with each other as well, you know, like arguments and that kind of thing. Um, they might have just, they might have just felt, they might have felt that you were cold and guarded and distrusting and that you wouldn't take them back. Or they might have felt that, like, they might have felt themselves that they needed to be distant and distrusting. Like, they, they had mixed feelings. They felt kind of confused about the connection for whatever reason. Like, they just... There's some, they just weren't sure about it, but there was some kind of hidden truth that was revealed. Someone might have told them that you're single. Someone might have told them that you didn't do whatever that is that they thought you did. It might not even be like a physical world truth. It might just be them taking off the mask and facing the truth and coming to this relationship with a new perspective, like not blaming you, not misunderstanding you but but coming back and actually listening and understanding you with this new perspective and wanting to be loyal and stable and make promises to you so i get that something happened recently whether it was actually a conversation they had with someone they might have had some kind of deep emotional talk with one of their friends that revealed a hidden truth about themselves that helped them come into this new perspective and now they're wanting to be loyal to you they're wanting to come forward passion romance um, some kind of energy here. I'm sorry. I'll try to do this in front of you here. Finances, career. Choose a path. For some of them... Their finances or their career or the path they were on was weighing heavily on them and it took their took their focus away from you. 
And some of them might not realize that they could actually come forward and be with you. Some of them are still feeling like they need to, like they have to choose between love and passion, like career finances, stability, or they have to choose passion and romance. Like maybe they're feeling like, I don't know if they feel like you would take their money or if they feel like they just wouldn't be able to focus on school or work or whatever it is, their, whatever empire they're building for themselves. It's like they don't feels like they're out of balance, like they don't fully realize that they could have both, you know what I mean? So they're trying to choose a path between logic and emotion here, and it's like they're just, they need to, they need to realize they're supposed to, both are supposed to coexist, it's not one or the other. Courage, assertiveness, forward movement, motivation, beauty, mystery, enchantment. They're seeing you in a different light. I really feel like they're seeing you in some kind of different light. This could be an ex, could be someone from your past, it feels like. They just had a lot to work through. Their mutual feelings are still there. The emotional depth, the, the, the feelings are still there even after all this time. And they're they're giving into those feelings more and more. Yeah, this could be a soulmate. It could be, there's still a soul contract between you two. So it's like, you guys can't really move on from each other. I mean, it's like you try to, but it's like they still, you still miss them from time to time. And they still, it, it, you know, it's like you mirror each other's energy. You know what I mean? Where it's like, you can go a long time without thinking of them. And then all of a sudden it's like, you just miss them and want them there with you. Or they show up in your dreams. And it's the same for them. Like you guys are mirroring each other. So it's like, a lot of times if you go like a couple months without talking and then all of a sudden you just miss them, it's like because they're thinking about you and you're telepathically feeling it, you know, like this with this soul contract, you guys can't really just like forget about each other, but they kind of went down a different path this lifetime. Like they were, yeah, there's still some commitment fears there, unfortunately, but they kind of, I mean, they were meant to go down a different path and learn certain things and experience certain things and then come back to you when they're more mature and loyal and stable. Because if you guys had a serious relationship, like if you had, I don't know if you guys ever dated, like if you had stayed together, I think it would have gotten more toxic. Or if you hadn't dated, but like you wanted to, I think if you, if they, if you guys had gotten together, you guys would have just broken up. Because they weren't, they weren't um, a loyal person back then, but I feel like now they're learning how to be loyal. Like, I feel like they might have used to cheat, but now they don't cheat anymore. Like, or they're getting to a point where they don't cheat anymore. Like, but they had to maybe get cheated on and go through some karmic lessons to learn why that's wrong to do that to people. But I feel like they were too immature and too lost before. So the relationship back then would have been toxic. So I feel like they had to go down their own path and learn things the hard way you know what I mean like they had to go through a dark night of the soul and a psychic awakening and all kinds of different stuff and they just they had to do it alone because I feel like they were kind of using you as a crutch or they were like they would have been dependent on you and like it would have almost stunted their growth like they wouldn't have done the things that they needed to go out into the world and do and do so they had to they had to go down a separate path and do that but it's almost like they went too far like they were supposed to grow and mature and experience some things and then come back to you but it almost feels like now they've like added some things in the mix that were not originally part of the soul contract, like things that were not meant to be there. And now it's caused confusion, if that makes sense. Um, and if this is your reading, if you want me to look more in depth into it, I can tell you, you know, what this person might be feeling and thinking, like if they're thinking about coming back, um, communicating, whatever you want to know about the situation, really. My email address is right below in the description box. Um, right below the video. So you can just copy and paste my email. Um, the email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. Like I said, it's just right below for the spelling. Um, any donations are also appreciated. Even just a dollar, it really adds up quickly. My PayPal and Cash App is below for that as well. Yeah, there could be a karmic that's controlling and deceiving them and manipulating them, kind of dominating them, deceiving, yeah confusing them I don't know if this is past or current though you know what I mean like it could be could be something they went through that like has dragged on because sometimes karmic relationships are meant to just last a certain period, period of time but sometimes the karmics like dig their claws in and then it's like it drags on longer than it's supposed to you know um 
But this could be past energy that might be just explaining why they didn't come back sooner. Maybe they're, but I feel like they either want to, they either have gotten out of this or they're wanting to get out of this now. And they're wanting to choose their words wisely and plan the approach when they come back towards you. The feelings are still there. They can't really forget you. It's like they're nostalgic for you. Like they miss you. They think about you. They want the reconciliation. There's just a lot going on in their life. And they don't really know how to, um, they don't know how to have like that balance. It really feels like they don't know how to balance things. Because I was getting that energy very strongly that um, they're like, career remember i was getting choose the path and it was between finances and career and passion and romance and love and it, it just feels like they they don't understand they can have both i don't know why that is like they just maybe maybe your connection was toxic in the past and maybe they've kind of held on to some things like they feel like they like they couldn't maybe you were more insecure in the past and now you're more confident but maybe they don't realize that you're more confident so maybe part of them thinks like what if like, what if they become financially dependent on me? Or what if they're um, clingy or smothering? Or like, what if this? What if that? Like, they're not really... They're coming into a new perspective and, and seeing a hidden truth and giving this another chance, I feel. But part of them is still kind of worried. Like, like can I... I don't know why they would think that they couldn't have their finances and career and, you know, all their, their aspirations and then also have love at the same time. It just feels like they, they don't realize that they could have all of it that they could have a balance you know what I mean this person feels like they're very out of balance but again it might be something to do with the relationship maybe maybe you maybe they felt like you took a lot of their time and attention and so that maybe that's why they're feeling like there wouldn't be a balance um that might need to be addressed you know they might need that clarity to know that you've changed as well you guys have both changed so it's going to be like a whole new relationship if they do come back around they do feel vulnerable to me, though. They do feel receptive. There's still there's still some hesitation and fear and still a little bit of, of confusion there, but but they do feel like they're more and more vulnerable. They are wanting the reconciliation. They do feel nostalgic for you just at random times. Um, you guys really pick up on each other's energy a lot is what I'm getting to. So you guys miss each other around the same times, you know, like you miss them and then they call you or, or vice versa. You know, it's like there's there's a strong psychic bond here. This is a soulmate or a twin flame. You guys channel each other a lot too, I really feel. But yeah, they're wanting to present a love offer. What's presenting? What's preventing them from making the love offer now? Sadness. There could be some kind of pain they're dealing with. I don't know why that would... Hmm. Sex, seduction, that's weird. Are they being seduced and trapped by someone? Overthinking, over analyzing, self sabotage. Did they get used for sex by you or someone else? Or did they think, not that you would do that, but maybe they think you did that? I don't know. New love. Hmm. True love, potential life partner. It could be juggling between you and another person. I also just feel like this is destiny. Like you're, the divine is trying to find a way to bring you guys back together. So it's kind of like, like almost like the divine wants you to bump into each other somewhere publicly, if possible for some of you. But I really get the energy of like new love. Like this is going to be like, like you guys are new people. Like you're different. Like I feel like the situation that you guys were in together was a long time ago. So I feel like you've both grown and matured a lot. So I feel, I really feel like this would be like a whole, like getting to know each other all over again, like a whole new relationship. Yeah, there's some still some confusion and uncertainty about the past, but I feel like this is gonna clear up. There could be some shyness and fear of rejection about regarding something about the past with you guys. Um, they do feel the sense of nostalgia though. Yeah, they are wanting to take the risk too. Risk, reward, bold gesture, choosing love over fear. So that's good energy. Um, so yeah, like I said, if you want a private reading, my email is right below in the description box, which is right below this video. Um, check that out. And any donations are appreciated, even just a dollar. And please subscribe if it resonates. Um, yeah, thank you.